It's fishing season and we've got contests going on between the sea lions, the fishermen and the fish and Tom is going to help us understand what the big deal is here with sea lions trying to get something to eat. Well we're out here uh, this spring hazing sea lions to primarily protect ESA listed winter steelhead and spring chinook. Hazing is what? That takes us way back. Well, hazing, uh, from a manager's perspective, is trying to uh, uh, discourage the animals from feeding on these fish. Mm -hmm. And we use a couple of different tools, one of which is a shotgun deployed cracker shell device that explodes over their head when we, when we uh, shoot it from a 12 gauge shotgun. The other device we use is an underwater uh, detonation device referred to as a seal bomb. And so once we got the sea lion down underwater, we like to use the seal bombs to give them um, an impression that we're on them and we're going to escort them downstream and away from the area where the fish are congregating in larger numbers. So how's that green and sustainable, Tom? Well, all we're trying to do is frighten the sea lions away from areas that they're <laughs> feeding on the fish. And uh, it doesn't harm the sea lions, it just scares them. Okay, Tom, I'm not actually for this, but why don't you just harvest the sea lions and get it over with? We can't by federal law. Federal law protects marine mammals, uh, sea lions, mm -hmm. California sea lions including. So you've got this ongoing struggle, scare the sea lions away and then they come back. Scare the sea lions away and then they come back. Is that really effective? Is it efficient? Is that sustainable? Well, it's as effective as long as we are on the water hazing. And they still get plenty to eat, right? They're not starving yeah. to death. You don't see sea lions washing up on the banks of the river and with their ribs showing, do you? No, not often. And, uh, <laughs> not often, no. <laughs> but it does happen? No, no, the uh, sea lions, uh, they're getting a lot of fish regardless. All right. It's, it's a difficult <clears throat> place for all of us to be in because yep. really we're trying to protect these Got it. very limited fish resources in the face of sea lions that are also natural uh, uh, visitors to this area. So what are the tools of the trade here? We use a 12 action, a 12 gauge pump action shotgun, which shoots a small, which was originally designed for a bird hazing. It is a small cracker shot round that shoots out about 75 to 100 feet, floats on top of the water and explodes. We also use a seal bomb, which is much like the cracker round. It has a small explosive with a sand weight in the bottom of it, which allows it to sink underwater and explode underwater. So the idea is, is once you fire that or drop the, the charge, it scares off the sea lion. That's correct. It, the concussion uh, startles them and uh, makes them think uh, differently about actually continuing on upstream. We try to uh, deploy these upstream of uh, the sea lion to turn them around and push them back downstream. Is there no other solution to this? Uh, no solution that is posed or actively uh, pursued by the ODFW right now. So it clearly works to yeah, a degree? It, it works to a degree. Um, when we leave, they, they recognize our vessel as well as the orange uh, float coats that uh, we wear. And those, uh, that unfortunately, they, they're getting smart enough to recognize when we leave as well. So at a certain time of day, they, uh, they try to fit in their feeding schedule. Uh, they stay below below uh, the I-205 bridge uh, for a better part of the day after we uh, haze them out of the Willamette Falls area. They, uh, they're, they're getting smarter. They're using uh, landmarks as well as floating docks and other uh, boats as, uh, as cover in which to uh, swim away from us. And, uh, so it's keeping, us. You, keeping you on your toes. That's right? correct. Trevor, thank you very much. And to your crew down here, wonderful. So there you go. A little area like this, Oregon City, not that little, but you can see behind me how close the working population is to the banks of this river. This is a big deal, and it's a problem that we've got to keep looking at and find more solutions for.